Hi, I'm Michael Despezio, and in this short lesson, I'd like to address the structure of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease. This is an artist's interpretation of what SARS-CoV-2 looks like. Now, scientists tend to call virus particles virions. And let's take a closer look at the scale and structure of this particle. First, let's take a look at how big this thing actually is. Measured across, it is about 120 or so nanometers in diameter. Now I say 120 nanometers because this is an average. It's an average which varies from observations which suggest that it's much smaller and certain other observations which suggest it's much larger. So generally the average diameter for this particle comes in at about 100 to 120 nanometers. Okay, the next question is, what is a nanometer? Well, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter, which means that it's real tiny. How small are these particles? Very small. In fact, you could fit 10,000 SARS-CoV-2s on the head of a pin aligned end to end. Another way of looking at this is comparing this diameter to a wavelength of light. This image shows a wavelength of ultraviolet C light and take a look. The length of that wavelength is equal to about the diameter of SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 has a mostly spherical shape. I say mostly because scientists refer to its shape as being pleomorphic, which means that it has variability in its appearance. Take a look at this image below. This is a transmission electron micrograph or a TEM image that shows a number of these particles. And you can see that they're not all the same shape, nor are they the same size. Look at that particle right there. You can see across its diameter, there's a certain measurement, but if we look at a different particle, one which is more spherical, you can see that it has a slightly different diameter. And again, this is all about the pleomorphic shape. The shapes vary, but in generally, we have a spherical appearance to this virion. Let's look at the scale of this virion as compared to the host cell which it might infect. So here we have the virus particle, and in the background, we have a piece of a cell which is about the same size as the respiratory cells which are attacked by SARS-CoV-2. If we were to show the actual relationship in size, we'd have to take that virus and shrink it down like this. Very impressive. So you can see that the host cell is much, much larger than the virus particle. Let's look now at the structure of SARS-CoV-2. We'll start on the exterior. The outermost part of the virus is called the viral envelope. And this envelope is made of two parts. The first part is really the fabric of the envelope. And the fabric itself is a lipid membrane. You may be familiar with lipid membrane. Those are the type of membranes that we have in cells. And indeed, this lipid membrane, which is part of the viral envelope, is taken from the cells that the virus infects. So when new virus particles are assembling, what they will do is take a piece of the fabric from the inside of the cell located right here between the ER, the endoplasmic reticulum, and the Golgi body or the Golgi apparatus or just plain Golgi, and they will take a piece of this fabric and wrap themselves in that. In addition to the lipid fabric, the viral envelope also contains a group of biochemicals called structural proteins. The largest of these is called the S or the spike protein. And you can see it here extending from the surface of that envelope. The spike protein has a role in infecting host cells. It also may be the target of vaccination therapies. 
we also have the M or the membrane or matrix protein. And this protein is found embedded in that lipid layer and it gives it a firm structure. And that firm structure results in the near spherical shape of the virion. We also have the envelope or E protein. And this protein is responsible for allowing ions, charged atoms to come into the interior of the virus particle. It may also have a role in replication. Let's examine the interior of SARS-CoV-2. In this cross section, you can see that the viral envelope has the various protein studs coming out from its surface. And notice that they pass through the membrane. They are transmembrane proteins. Now that exterior viral envelope forms a hollow within the center of the virion. Within this hollow is a helical structure called a nucleocapsid. Now the nucleocapsid is made of two parts. One is the RNA and the other is what's called the N protein. It's another structural protein which twists the RNA into this coiled or helical shape. Now RNA, short for ribonucleic acid, is a nucleic acid which contains the blueprints for this virus. And those blueprints, well, they don't look like this. They're found in a sequence of nucleotides. And these nucleotides, this genetic code, calls for certain amino acids, which are then put together to form the proteins that make up this virus. I trust you enjoyed this presentation and found it useful in constructing an understanding of the scale and structure of SARS-CoV-2. If you'd like more information, join me at my Twitter account, at mdespezio, and there you'll find a number of different tweets. Some of them address cool facts or send you to some great articles that I've uncovered. Others reference YouTube movies that I've made and produced. This one is on flattening the curve. Still others address best techniques for online teaching. And I also have tweet posts which direct you to my webinars. If that's not enough, I have a blog post where I put up information, a little bit of a deeper dive into the science spread and therapy of COVID-19. And you can find that at covid19.michaeldespezio.com. Well, that's it for now. I trust I'll see you again.